Okay, so now we're at the next step, which is to actually remove the damaged LCD from the Harmony 1. So we've already detached the bracket from the back of the board, and we're just going to fold the LCD back like this. And we're going to take our chip quick, no clean paste flux and flux up the leads. I've set my soldering iron to 600 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to put a little piece of the chip quick that came in your installation package. You don't even need the whole thing. You can use probably half. There's some double stick tape that holds the ribbon cable to the board. I'm just going to loosen that by breaking that seal. You can actually hear it. And that's it. Now I'm going to put on my fume extractor so there's going to be some noise. I've got my nice heated iron now. Again, 600 degrees Fahrenheit with a 1 16th inch screwdriver tip. And with the flux and the chip quick, I'm just going to go back and forth on those leads. Pulling very slightly on the ribbon cable, not with too much pressure. These leads are going to start coming up by themselves after a few seconds. There they go. And that's it. Now I'm going to sweep to get rid of as much excess chip quick as I can and clean the tip by dipping it into a brass coil. Then with a little bit of the braid that came with your toolkit, you can remove the rest of the chip quick from the leads. You don't have to get it all off. That's it. Then I'll then I'll clean the excess flux off with some alcohol and a Q-tip. You can use anything you like, a rag if you like. But you'll see that the leads are nice and clean. There's no burns. Nothing has lifted. And again, you can leave some solder there. Some of that is solder, and some of it is still chip quick alloy mixed in with it, but it's not enough to cause any problems. Don't try to work it all off because you could damage or lift a pad. This is fine. And that's it for this video. The next step will be to install the new LCD.